Hello everyone, this is Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. I am Linda and today I'm going to be, well actually it's not today, it's actually like midnight. I'm doing late night crafting in my PJs. <laughs> so anyway, um, <clears throat> this is going to be um, a little craft with me. I'm got I uh, doing my uh, weekly um, bingo. <clears throat> Where's my cart? Where's my paper? <clears throat> I was going to show you my paper, but I don't know what I did with it. Hmm, I'm going to need that. <laughs> um, just give me a minute and let me find it. Hmm. Maybe I can't find. Oh, yes, here it is. Sorry about that. <laughs> you know, it's midnight. I should be in bed, but I'm not. I'm uh, I'm up, as I often am at midnight. So anyway, uh, let's get this party started. So. I'm doing junk journal bingo, and it's a hashtag bingo challenge, and this is for my uh, the Facebook group that I'm in, that is uh, Junk Journal Junction, and that is uh, Vanessa Clemens Facebook group, and if I can remember, I will link it below. So anyway, I got my numbers for this week, and they are 21, which is a belly band, and 8, which is a bow, 1 is ribbon, and 12 is words, which I had words last week, but I got them again this week. So... I have <clears throat> got some ribbon. It's a uh, fabric ribbon I got from the thrift store. So I'm going to be using this. Um, <clears throat> and I do have my piece of uh, cardstock that I'm going to use to for the base of my belly band. So let's get started. I'm going to have to find some other things, but we'll go ahead and we'll start with this. So, <clears throat> let's see how long of a piece I need. It's shredding, it's, uh, it's already fraying. Okay, looks like about right here should do it. Now, if I can find my scissors, I'm not exactly organized. I was going to go to bed, and I thought, hmm, why go to bed when I can come in here and craft? Because I'm not sleepy. I tear? Yes. So here I am at midnight when all old ladies should be sleeping, but I'm not. Okay, so I've got my piece of ribbon. Is there a right way or a wrong way to this? I don't think it matters. Let's see which way looks better. I think I like this way. I need to move up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I need to cut this off a little bit because it's too long. I mean, it's too wide. So let's see how she's going to tear. Hmm. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I like this ribbon. Okay. So let's get this down. Let's see, what am I going to use? Fabri-Tac. So how is everyone? I hope you're all well. Um, this is technically Thursday because it's after midnight. Um, so how's your week been going? I hope good. Mine's been 
been good. I've had um, a good week so far. I haven't been doing anything particularly um, interesting to talk about. Um, I cleaned my house yesterday and I even cleaned my ceiling fans. I cleaned my ceiling fans when I changed the sheets on the bed, which <laughs> is about since I, <laughs> I uh, sleep alone and there's no one here but me. Normally, it's every two weeks. <clears throat> now, I used to do it every week when my husband was here, but now that it's just me, it's about every two weeks. So, about every two weeks, I, my ceiling fans get a dusting it's because I have this real long, you know, one of those um, teles telescopic poles <laughs> so I can dust high above my head because I'm only five feet tall. So anyway, I know this is such interesting conversation, but <clears throat> anyway, that is um, what I did yesterday. And I also cleaned my oven. It needed cleaning and I've been putting it off and yesterday it was pretty warm and tomorrow it's supposed to be like 80 degrees and I thought, if I'm going to get this done before winter, went to before summer gets here, I better get busy. Well, all I had to do, you know, was just turn on the self-cleaning and let it clean itself. But you know how hot it gets. And it smells, too. But luckily, I was able to open the door and let fresh air come in, which was a good thing because... It smelled awful. And when the pine pollen starts to fly around and turn everything yellow, I won't be able to open my door. So I wanted to do it before all that. So yes, that's done. I also, not yesterday, but a couple of days ago, I went out and sprayed Roundup to kill all my weeds because I'm not going to pull them. <clears throat> If the Roundup don't kill them, they'll stay. It usually does a pretty good job, though. So. Okay, so we got. I've got the this part of the belly band is done. Now I need. Um, what am I going to put on it? I think I want to put a picture on it. Mm -hmm. I know I got to put some ribbon on it, and I got to put a bow on it and some words. But I think I want to put a picture. Because i got to put something on there, right? So let me see. What do I have here close by that I can that I can look in for? I might need my scissors, so I don't want to lose those. Um, I have ruby and pearls. Um, what is this? Ballet collection. So let me see if I can find a picture in here. I need a kind of a tall one because um, well, I really like this one, but I think she's a big, big little bit bigger. It'd probably work better. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh. Here she is, even even bigger than that. I think I could use that. Where's my... You can't even see. I'm so sorry. She could go about there. Okay, let me see if I find any anybody else that will work. This is such a pretty collection from Ruby and Pearl, but I'm looking for women. I'm looking for a, a tall lady. Am I going to find one? I don't know. I don't think any of these are, those are not pictures. 
That's that same one as is that one. I got a lot of the same thing in here. Okay. Looks like it might have to be that one. It's going to be my my tallest one. Okay. Where'd it go? I think I'm just going to use this one on here. I think I'll use this one. Okay. Let me get this cut out. Okay, so I got a picture from Ruby and Pearl that I can use. Let me put this back in here where it was. Okay, all right. <clears throat> I guess she'll be tall enough. She'll have to be. It's the tallest one I could get. So, I'm going to have to cut her down. I'm going to tear her down. About there ought to do it, I think. You guys should go over and check out Vanessa's Facebook. It's a very, very good Facebook group. I think you would enjoy it. And there's a lot of nice people over there, a lot of nice ladies. So, I'm in quite a few Facebook groups, but I don't always participate. Um, but I have found this group to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to distress this a little bit. Just going to use my finger, my fingernail, and rough it up a bit more than, than it is already. Make it look a little old. I might be better off using my distressor. I don't think this is going to work. Let's see. Let's bend this a little bit. <clears throat> Tear it off. Bend this a little. And let's give her a crease across here. Just because she's been in a drawer for a long time or in somebody's wallet. And she's gotten kind of banged up a little bit here and there. I think that's good enough. What do you think? I think so. Okay, she can go on there, and now I need to put something behind her. One thing for sure, i got to have some words. So, I'm working on a journal, and I have some papers here. So let me 
see. Let's see. Maybe a piece of that. Maybe a piece of this with words on it. Let's tear this off. Let's see if we can do something. I can do something with some of this. I had others already torn, but I wanted some letters. So let's put that back and see what can what can happen with this. Let's see. Um some of this under here. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just carry on and see and see what happens. Let me take this part off. I think this is a better piece. I'll save that one. And let's see what else can I put on here. That might be too much. Um, let me see what I have over here. Have I got anything over here? Got this little piece of paper. Did it go in there? I don't know. What else do I need? Something besides that. Um, how about lace? <clears throat> Let me move that out of my way. And look in my lace thing here and see what I can find. Let's see. Tear that. Try that. Something has to be behind her. I don't think I'm liking how that's looking. Um, turn that around that way. Um, Let me see. Um, I need a piece of paper, but it needs to be bigger than that. Hold on. I have that paper right here. Let me... You know what? I'm just going to tear a piece off. I don't need my ruler for this. I just need a little bit bigger piece than what I had. Um... This is rocket science we got going on here. I don't know why I'm making it that way. Uh, where's my piece of paper? Where did it go? Oh, it's right in front of me. And that goes like so. And And that goes there. Hmm. What do you think? Let me come down a little bit so you can see. Can you see better? How's that look? I like it. I need to trim it up, but yeah, I got to do something with the um, 
with the bottom. Oh, you know what? I forgot my my music paper. Well, I'll use that down at the bottom. Yeah, let me tear some off. I don't need all that. <clears throat> use it on the bottom instead. Leave my words showing. My words are right there. Sir Walter. It's a name, but it's also words, right? Yeah, it is. That'll work. And uh, should I put some more lace? I think so, down at the bottom. I'll put some. Which way should I go? This way. Over or under? Oh, uh, under. Under, under, under. Okay, let's see. I think that'll be okay. Now, I'm not done. I still got to put a bow. But I think... I think I like that combination okay. Okay, is that enough? I think so. Let me move this out of the way. I don't need that anymore that back. Keep my place cleared off here a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Let me move this. I think I'll start up here with my lace. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this. I figured out if I put the nozzle right down and let it make contact with whatever I'm uh, gluing with the Fabri-Tac, it's a whole lot easier and a whole lot mess less messy <laughs> to do that. See, that can go up a little, I think, I hope. Um, now there was this. A little bit more of that, and I think I'll ink around it. And it's going to go down here. Okay. I want to make sure I glue it in the right spot. Oh, wait a minute. I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting this. Where did I have this? Oh, I didn't have it anywhere. I had this. Right? Did I have this big piece? I think so. I can't remember. That's why they say you should take pictures, huh? Well, I know it's a little bit too, too big. It's hanging off. Was that first, I think, and then this? Was it that way? I think it was. We're going to put it that way. It won't make any difference, I don't think. Do you think it'll matter? I don't think so. All right, that goes here. And... Then this went here, I think. Or did it go? No, it went this way, because if it didn't go this way, uh-uh, is this way. And it's upside down, but it's French, so who can, who knows? I mean, who's going to know? Let's say read French, they're not going to even know that it was the wrong way. Is it this way? I think it's... No, that's right. That's right. That is right. Isn't it? Yes. Yes, ma'am. You're right. I didn't think so, but you are. Okay. Let's get this down. Hmm. Can't ever remember where things go. So that way, you see, before I mash it down, 
Yeah, that's right. Okay, close enough. All right, now, um, picture. I think I'll just do the top part. I'll save the back, the bottom part till I get the other stuff on. Um, I don't want to make a mistake and have to start all over because I messed it up. Wouldn't that be a shame? I'm getting tired. I'm getting sleepy now. When I get this done, I think I'll be able to go to sleep. Sometimes you just need to do something to relax before you go to sleep, before you go to bed. And Oh, I'm watching a good movie, too. I've been watching it almost all day. I didn't get to watch it yesterday because I was busy, but today, oh, I hate to have to admit it, but I watched um, Ever, have you ever watched Everwood? <laughs> um, I think it's on Prime Video. I believe that's where I'm watching it. Well, it's coming up on Prime Video, but it's really that freebie place. But anyway, it's really, it's really good. Um, or to me it is. My daughter says it sounds very boring to her, but um, she likes scary stuff. I don't. Um, this is pretty much a, a family movie. I think you could consider it that. It's about a surgeon, a very famous neurosurgeon, um, that lived in New York City, and his wife was killed in a car accident, and they had two children, and his wife asked him or told him that about this place where she went when she was a little girl and she told him that that's where he should go if she ever if she died he should go there and if she died he should go there and he didn't want to talk about her dying of course but anyway she said that he told her he would so she passed away, and he packed up the kids, and they moved to Everwood, uh, uh, where was it, Colorado. Very small little place in the mountains. And they really were like fish out of water there, coming from New York. So he opened him up a little practice, and he's, he works for free. He doesn't charge his, uh-oh. No, I was going to put, nope, I was going to put that underneath. Okay, hold on before it gets dry. Let me pick it up. Mm, come on, get up. Oh, that's far enough anyway. So anyway, um, it's a really good show. And there's like four seasons, so it's going to take me a while. It's going to take me a while to watch it all. Um... Treat Williams is in it, if you know who he is. I think that's his name, Treat Williams. Anyway, I think it's good. And if you're looking for something to watch, you might check it out. You you know, if you don't like it, you certainly don't have to watch it. But you might want to check it out and see. Like my daughter said, it wasn't her thing. Didn't even sound anything like what she'd want to even consider. But, <clears throat> I like it. All right. I don't know if that looks good or not. It's just going to have to do. Got to trim it up a little. My scissors are so dull. These are not scissors for cutting fabric with. Get this off over here. And I'll leave the rest. Okay, now... Now I gotta have a a bow. I gotta have a bow. So what am I gonna use for a bow? What color? I want blue. Let's see. How does blue look? I don't know. I think this is too dark. I think this is going to work out very well. Let's 
see. No, I don't like that. Um, what else is in here? <sighs> Anything else? Anything else that's blue? I don't think so. Looks like it's all. Here's a little blue ribbon. I don't know if I like that. Let's see. Eh, no, I don't like that. I think I'm just going to go with a um, piece of this. To stay safe, do the safe thing. Use the old cream colored um, sorry silk, make a ribbon out of. And all else fails. Goes safe route. Goes with everything, right? <laughs> Um, I think that's going to do it. I'm just going to use this. I'll trim it off after I get it glued down. Just going to um, put a little glue right here in the center. And glue it down. Okay, now let's see. Dull scissors. <laughs> They're so dull. I don't know why I don't get some more. I have some right beside me, but that's all right. We got it with these. Okay, let's see. All right. That's it. What do you think? Good enough? I think so. Yeah, I like it. I'll use it in a journal. Let me put a little smudge it up a little bit more. There we go. Now, yeah, I like it. I think it'll be just fine. Okay, so that is this week's bingo challenge. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I think I'm going to clean up my little mess here. And then I'm going to um, go to bed. So, uh, thanks everybody for stopping by. I do appreciate you spending a little of your time with me. And... Um, I hope you'll have a good rest of your week. Be happy, be safe, be well, and I will see you later. Bye for now.